Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, so, a bit of a change of plans today. Um, my, I w dropped my daughter off at daycare, and literally two minutes later, I got a message saying she had thrown up. And so, I now need to stay home with her, and it's just me and her, and I can't do live classes with her running around and climbing on things and probably trying to grab my mouse pad or my mouse and my computer screen. So, um, uh, this video is just kind of quickly give you an idea of what I need you to do for the day. All right, so uh, a couple things. One, when you log in, go to Canvas, go to our class, go to day 32 and download the overview of Executive Branch slideshow. All right, so that will be for your note-taking link per usual. All right, so let's just talk about some things that are coming up so we don't forget about them. Um, I'll talk more about that assignment in a moment, uh, about the two presents thing. Uh, late work, we got a little over a week and a half. Make sure you get in, make sure you turn the Google late form. Um, again, we're coming up on the end of the quarter. A lot of us have a lot of missing grades. Uh, I can't do anything to help you unless something gets turned in. So please, I'm, beg I'm literally begging you, turn in missing work. Um, and then the other thing to, I wanted to mention to you is um, starting the 14th is midterms, including ours. So uh, you will be taking it online. Uh, it will be done through Canvas. Uh, but basically, the goal here is that you will be uh, taking it at the very beginning. I think it's starting at 730 all the way through, um, you know, you'll get about two and a half hours to the test, and we'll cover everything. So I have a study, you want to use study guides for units one, two, and three, and I'm going to put together a study guide today for things we've covered more recently so you know everything that's going to be on the test. All right, so um, obviously I'm not going to be here to give you notes, but let me kind of walk you through where to get the, the lesson for the notes. So uh, if you go to our homepage, this is more or less what yours should look like. You want to then go down to conferences. Hopefully this will go a little faster for you than mine. All right. And then under concluded conferences, go ahead and click on civics 2B-1130. Um, that is the same lesson I did with uh, B day yesterday. So you will get the recorded notes. You'll get the lesson. You'll get the instructions for your homework assignment. It's all built into there. And you can fast forward through all those parts where I like just talk randomly about stuff that you don't care about. All right, so silver lining. All right, so let's, th let's just talk about what your homework is really quickly. All right, so what you're going to be doing for homework is, after you've done all your notes, is essentially the question we're attempting to answer is this with today's lesson. Um, what are the jobs and responsibilities of the president, right? Um, what are the things that a president does? And so what you'll find is it's a lot. And so there's been all these different theories and ideas about maybe – how do we make the job of the president easier? And so you're going to be looking at three basic ideas of dividing that responsibility. The first two are in your notes, this idea of a two presidents. One does foreign, one does domestic stuff. Um, head of state versus head of government, kind of what England sort of has. And then this one is a new article from just a few years ago um, that talks about the idea of maybe splitting the responsibility of the presidency across two parties so that each party gets a voice. Um, your job here is to read the article. Now, the way the assignment's set up is the article is built into the assignment along with several questions. Uh, you have a two-hour time limit. It's only a couple-page article. If you sit down and you read it and answer the questions, you should easily get it done in two hours. I don't think that will be a problem. But I gave you two hours just in case you think you've got time to work on it and something comes up, you can come back to it later. Uh, if you're really nervous like about getting it done, um, I posted a link to the article itself. You could read it before you open the assignment. Now, you won't have the questions in front of you, but you'll at least be able to read the article and know what it's talking about and maybe jump straight to the questions and make it a little bit easier. So just a couple things really quickly about making sure you're answering the questions. Anything that's open-ended requires you to write in complete sentences and follow proper grammar. If you can't do that or you don't do that, you won't get credit for that question. All right. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I am sorry. Uh, I can't do live classes with you today. It's the first time since we started school that I haven't been able to. Um, but as per usual, you have tomorrow until midnight to turn this in. Um, and again, I don't, I gave you two hours, shouldn't take you two hours. So I don't want to get the excuse that I clicked on it and it timed out on me because you have so much time to get this done. You were given the article in advance if you want to read it before you open it so that you can be better prepared. So I will not reopen anybody's assignment on this if you timed out because you are being warned and told. All right, guys, sorry about this. Uh, and I will hopefully see you guys on Thursday. All right, guys, have a good one.